Welcome to day five of our Beaches, Turks and Caicos video blog. Go ahead and click that subscribe button for more travel videos. We're about to eat lunch at Barefoot by the Sea. We heard that they have really good fish tacos. This is day number five for us. It has been mostly cloudy this morning. The sun is just now starting to peak out. We are still not ready to go home. We're on our way to get our COVID tests because it is day number five and tomorrow is our last day. So in order to come back to the US, we have to show a negative COVID test. So that's where we're going right now. They have this on site at beaches and the first day when we checked in, they had already scheduled us for an appointment. So all that is taken care of for us, which is great. Now we just gotta find the nurse's station. He's gonna take us to the nurse's station. There's a long line at the nurse's station. Everybody getting their COVID tests. We are now at the front of the line and they are letting you go in as a family. So we are at the bay and we're next. And bam, we're done. Results were emailed to us within 24 hours. This must be the kids club. And they have their own little lounge chairs. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> oh my goodness. Hi. Where are we going? We're going to snorkel uh, down there. Lots of like orange. Oh, here's the sign I've been looking for. Snorkeling. Apparently, it's a national park, and there's a coral reef there. It says Alexandra National Park. Okay, there you go. You saw lots of stuff. Yeah, I saw two turtles. Yeah, and then I saw tons of fish. There's this really cool fish. It was like white with like hexagons and. Um, down below, it like faded into like red. Cool. Look how beautiful 
the sky is right now in the water. So beautiful. Going to dinner. Where we're we going? We're going to Bayside. Bayside? It's right there, honey. I that know. Direction. Not this direction, but <laughs> We have reservations for 7.30 and they're seating us. Hey, Sam. Huh? Your fire is going on down there. Oh, yeah. This menu looks amazing. Paella, short rib, I'm getting both of those. Grilled snapper, yum. Okay, so while we're waiting on our dinner, what did you think about kimonos last night? Kimonos, I enjoyed kimonos. It was pretty different and neat. Um, one thing different about it was they give you a menu, but you don't order, right? <laughs> uh, That's they right. Just, they make everything, and you either basically say yes or no. If you want it, they make the chicken, the steak, the shrimp. Everything was delicious, though. Yeah, everything was good. Yeah. They had a really good soup. It was like a coconut lime yes. type of soup. I loved it. So what did y'all think about all the singing? Did you like it or did you not? Was it a little I, much? I didn't really like it because not we didn't have like a very joyful table like the other <laughs> people. Our table wasn't that lively, was it? Mm -mm. <laughs> what did you think? Uh, yeah, ours for was, you it was wasn't lively, but there was so much going around around us. It was lively because of all that, and it was very hard to talk to my wife who was sitting next to me. So, yeah. yeah and, so if you're somebody who likes a quiet dinner yeah. you do not want to go to kimonos however the food was delicious i loved my favorite was the mahi oh yeah that was so the good. mahi really fresh the mahi and the steak yeah. the steak was delicious also right the egg was delicious but yeah it's definitely very loud in there the waiters or not the wait they're not waiters the chefs all sang like they would sing song after song and you're expected to like sing, along. sing with them <laughs> and then they were like use their uh cooking tools as instruments yeah <laughs> So anyway, that was our review of kimonos. It was good, but very loud. Every morning we've been coming to either Bayside or Neptune for breakfast. And we would spend like an hour, you know, waiting on food and eating. But then this morning, we realized that Mario's was a breakfast buffet. So if you're someone who just wants to pick up something and go, um, go to Mario's because it's quick and easy rather than, you know, sitting and waiting on your food. And I wish we kind of like knew about that before or while, like during our first day because I feel like we would have probably gone to Mario's more and wasted less time waiting for food. And that's another thing. I feel like we wait for food a lot here. Like much longer than expected to be at this resort. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. What do you think? No, it's not just you. It's definitely true. I feel like service that's, That is would really be my slow. one negative. Yeah. Service is, it? is really slow. Yeah. yeah. Um, at the restaurants and at the bar. Do you think at the bar too? Could be at I times. Yeah. Hit or miss. So, but yeah, the food's delicious. Um, I just feel like service is a little slow. So one thing that 
people don't know when you go to an all-inclusive is you can order multiple entrees because they're typically small so don't leave the dinner table hungry this is seafood paella i'm so and, excited about this and if you don't know kids that fish and chips is actually not fish and chips Fish and fries. <laughs> you to change your name. Thank you for watching and be sure to come back for our last day, day number six at Beaches, Turks and Caicos.